Okay, so for me, a big question that I get asked is from an executive audience when I work with companies on their digital transformation is what does 5G mean for them as a business? So if you were to give some tips for a, a top executive in a company mm -hmm. saying how do I, what do I need to know, how do I prepare for it, what does 5G potentially mean for my business, yeah. what would you say? Yeah. 5G is very modestly an enable, you know. What 5G will, will enable is it will enable human beings, things, in sensors, to, to be connected massively and to be connected that in, uh, with a very high, uh, good quality connectivity. And this will pave the way for executive to think about this. So that's for the technology part. And this is well understood and, and well documented. The real difficult part for executive is to think about how to redefine their business model to take advantage of, of those uh, information technologies. And when I look at most verticals, whether you look at uh, agriculture that we mentioned, uh, healthcare, education, fintech in a big way, and in insurance companies, even, even the um, supermarkets and, and other more mundane businesses, these verticals have been regulated by government to protect the consumer, to to, to create barriers or to, for whatever good reason for decades. And very often we notice that if, if executives want to take advantage of those technologies and, and redefine completely their, their business model, they will face rules that have been invented in the past for, for good reason, but which, which are in conflict with the opportunities provided by those new technologies. So my recommendation to executive is not just to think, you know, in their office with their, their, their collaborators about, about their own business model, but also to go out and sit with their peers in their federation of farmers, bankers, insurers, whatever, and start a dialogue with authorities, with the national government, with the European Commission, about reinventing the, the rules that will enable them to take advantage of those technologies. In terms of some of the regulatory challenges around 5G, is there anything that, that you have concerns about? Anything that, that, that you think is important to, to consider? I don't, we can perhaps uh, have a word about security. Yeah? I don't, fi and I, mean, I explained earlier why you know, 5G had its own challenges in terms of uh, cyber security. Now, what can uh, governments, authorities do about this? Um, I think, and what they have to a large extent already, already done, there are some, some obligation on, on network operators to meet certain standards in terms of security. This is not an issue for you, for executives, so I'll, I'll, I'll skip that, that topic. What uh, an interesting initiative that, that is being... Uh, considered and, and pursued is creating labels for IOTs, you know. So basically, I, when, you, when you buy cheap IOTs, you, you as a consumer, or sometimes as perhaps the, the manager of a small business, you don't have the skills to know whether the IOT that you are going to buy, I'm thinking, for example, of a surveillance camera, you know, mm. which may cost... So any, any, a, any smart uh, connected uh, device, exactly. yes. Exactly. Uh, whether this is something that you can trust from a security point of view or not. So there is work on the way uh, uh, at the moment to basically define standards, define uh, accredited laboratories that will be able to certify that the, that the, the camera in this case uh, meets the standard and then there will be to be, to be defined labels that consumers, uh, uh, managers of small business will be able to recognize and so that they can safely by the, the devices. These are the kind of uh, initiatives, if you like, which are being pursued at the moment to create a safer uh, environment and to create trust mm -hmm. among consumers, among uh, basically, uh, especially in, in, in SMEs, I guess large companies have the resources to do their own, their own work, but uh, SMEs need that. So to create trust 
uh, in the value chain is, is really important. Uh, um, yeah, I couldn't agree more. Uh, for the telecom industry itself, uh, we have our own issues, like for example, the condition under which the spectrum is being sold. Mm. You know that, for example, in Italy, the 5G spectrum was sold for 6 billion euro. Uh, I'll spare you the explanation, but this is a bit unfortunate because it's 6 billion euro that will not go into investment in the network. Mm -hmm. So uh, our, our industry is fighting its own uh, battles Interesting. Uh, uh, in, in the background. Very good. Thank you so much, Philippe. That was great. Thank, thank you. Thank you, well. thank you for having me. If you would like to learn more, head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find tons of articles, white papers and videos that will give you a lot more insights into real-world case studies and examples.